Hey Virgo, it's Nicola. So let's see what messages we have. This is for May the 3rd through May the 9th, 2020. Messages guidance for Virgo. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What messages, what guidance do we have for Virgo? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. This is for May the 3rd through May the 9th. What guidance do we have for Virgo? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Messages guidance for Virgo. Sun, Moon, Rising. All right. So we have power of the divine masculine. Let's see what we have for that. All right, Virgo. Okay. An empowering energy seeks expression from within. It wishes to free you from confusion, paralysis, and stagnancy. It seeks to stir you into conscious, consciously chosen action, greater discipline, and focus. It's time to end the frustration of repeating old patterns. You are ready to break through into a new life, into a new way of life. Feel inspired, be energized, and focus on your dreams and desires. Take steps to manifest them on the physical plane. Physical plane. Believe your success is inevitable. All right, you gonna win. That's what it sound like. All right, so let's see what messages we have. This is for Virgo. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What messages, what guidance do we have for Virgo? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is for May the 3rd through May the 9th, 2020. This is for Virgo. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is for May the 3rd, May the 4th, May the 5th, oh, May the 6th. May the 7th, May the 8th, and May the 9th of 2020. This is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right. Eight of Wands under there. Very good card. So there is some movement forward that is happening. Um, I feel like there's an accelerated movement forward. Some of you guys could be moving forward quickly. But that's because you got to make some decisions to get there. Seven of Cups. So you could be in a space of needing to make some wise decisions moving forward. Eight of Cups here. Some of you guys could be making a decision to withdraw away from a situation. Or you could be going within yourself so that you can contemplate this decision. Hierophant here could be walking away from a relationship. All right. Seven of, uh, I mean, Crown Shocker here. Based off some messages, some of you guys are receiving some messages. Eight of the eight of wands also can represent messages coming in. As you see, there's a shooting star coming straight toward this young lady here, which it doesn't have to be male nor female, but the feminine energy is the receptive energy. So some of you guys could be in a space of needing to allow some messages to come in, especially if you're suffering in silence, um, really having some anxieties. So we have Friday here with the eight with the base chakra here. I feel like for a lot of you guys, you have anxieties in regards to your own, this is household, either your own living situations or, hmm, so this is either about a living situation or for some of you guys, this is about some found some plans, foundations. You could be starting a new foundation, maybe a new job, a new career, or like I said, a new home moving, um, and you could have some anxiety around that. Let me pull these back so I can make sure I have room. Let's clarify this seven of cups right here. Why is the seven of cups right here? We have the emperor energy here with the five of pentacles and the king of swords. So some of you guys, I do feel like you're having a lot of worry because you need to make a decision about something. This could be about your employment. Um, emperor energy talks about jobs. It talks about um, the masculine energy of taking action. For a lot of you guys, you could be setting boundaries to a lax situation, really in the space of cutting away something. King of Swords could be Gemini energy, but it could be any uh, any air sign. Um, that's a masculine energy air sign. But I feel like for a lot of you guys, this King of Swords may be you needing to act on what you know, needing make meaning make plans based off the knowledge that you have. Two of Cups here with the Five of Swords. Some of you guys may be in a space of having some conflicting thoughts around a relationship. Um, something changing. I feel like if something's changing, it's changing for a reason. So you do need to be in the space of making appropriate decisions around that. So we have the eight of cups here going from the eight to, from the seven to the eight. There is a progression within your new spiritual path, new emotional path. I feel like for a lot of you guys with the eight of cups, you're very much in the space of walking away from something temperance in reverse here. So I feel like for a lot of you guys, you've lost your patience with the situation. You're very much in the space of wanting to walk away from something. Page of wands could be dealing with someone that is childish and you're really in a space of finding the strength to walk away 
with this Ten of Swords, you could be in the space, you feel in your heart that you need to walk away from something. So you could be, especially with the Eight of Cups, Ten of Swords here. Um, I feel like for a lot of you guys, you just lost your patience with the situation. You're, you're ready to walk away from a foundation, from a relationship. Could be dealing with the Taurus, or you could just, this could be about your own beliefs around something. Could be walking away from a job as well. So we have the Hierophant. This is Wisdom Energy here. I mean, this is Hierophant Energy here. My apologies. So we have King of Wands here. You could be focused on what you know is right. Ace of Cups here. Ace of, Ace of Cups here with Justice and the Ace of Wands underneath here. Some of you guys have a new opportunity here. Maybe even a new relationship that you're wanting to invest your time and energy in. So you could be in a space of knowing that you want to do what is right for you. Focusing on what's fair to you or what is right within your life. Crown Chakra here. You could be receiving some messages. Why is this Crown Chakra here? Sun, yes, so you are receiving some messages here. Um, but for a lot of you guys, you could be in fear. Fear could be restricting you from really being able to eight of cups walk away or end a cycle from someone. Um, you could also feel have some interferences here, um, toxic interferences, and you know within your heart that it's time for you to walk away. So some of you guys could even be dealing with toxic interferences, and you know that it's time for you to walk away. Full energy here with the Queen of Pentacles. This could be you, or this can be another earth sign. But there's an opportunity that needs to be taken, take in. So we have the Nine of Swords. Why is this Nine of Swords here? Okay. We have the Seven of Swords with the Seven of Cups. I feel like for a lot of you guys, there's some anxiety about making a decision because you have some unstable unst instability within your own thoughts. With the Knight of Cups here and the Four of Swords, I feel like for a lot of you guys, this is about you being in alignment with moving forward, um, balancing your emotions. Ten of Pentacles here. Some of you guys could also be in alignment with making... Now, someone could be in alignment with making a decision to commit here. Hermit here in Six of Cups. I feel like you're retreating from a past situation, maybe even moving forward. I don't know if you're committing to something, but you could be committing to your belief. And I feel like in this case with the Nine of Swords, your belief may create some anxiety. So some of you guys need to master your own anxiety so that you can commit to being in alignment with moving forward toward a new path. Starting from the ground up, Ace of Pentacles. I mean, base chakra here. My apologies. So it's kind of like the Ace of Pentacles. It's an opportunity. Why is this um, base chakra here? We got Nine of Swords in reverse. Very much in your head. You need to release those anxieties. Let me turn it around. My apologies. You need to release those anxieties. Nine of Pentacles and be confident about walking away from a conflicting situation. I feel like you need to change the way you feel about something. So for a lot of you guys, you may want to win or you may want to be like you may want to achieve something within a foundation but i feel like your perspective needs to change i feel like you're moving forward and i feel like you're receiving messages that it's time for you to walk away from something in the past but for a lot of you guys three of chariot here three of pentacles page of pentacles three of cups you may need to focus on a new type of foundation investing into a new either investing into a new partnership or investing into a new relation that's where your achievements are so there's something new that is going to bring you an achievement but you need to make plans to invest into that and relieve yourself from whatever past energy that is not within the vibration of what you want to manifest so let's see what guidance we have what guidance what messages do we have This is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right. So let's see what messages, what guidance do we have for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Moving forward, what guidance, what messages do we have for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Moving forward. All right, we got wake up call here with emergence. I'm trying to tell you. So I feel like for a lot of you guys, you're gonna need your strength because something has to be released in order for you to move forward. You're going, you're gonna have a wake up call here, and I feel like you're you're really in a space of emerging or growing. Um, right now, there are some things that are unfolding. Trust your intuition, trust your higher knowledge, but you do need to move forward and not backwards, Virgo. This is all I have. Until next time.